Hello friends, welcome back. Today's recipe is going to be very special. This is not a egg recipe. So many of us uh, in the groups always ask me for recipes that is not egg related. So here I'm going to share with you a very easy and a very delicious breakfast recipe that you can make in your air fryer. So this is white onion that I've taken. You can slice it thinly or long lengthwise and put it in the pan so i have taken one tablespoon oil to prepare this mixture here i'm taking one teaspoon of each red chili flakes oregano dried leaves and parsley one teaspoon each next we add dried parsley flakes To make this recipe more interesting, if you have chicken bouillon, you can add to this and give it a good stir and let the onion cook nicely. So here I'm adding black pepper ghostly crush. You can add one teaspoon black pepper powder also. Salt per taste or half teaspoon salt. So if you add uh, chicken bouillon or vegetable version one, so you can just place it and add little water and close the lid and let the onion and the bouillon cook well. But here I'm just cooking it without the bouillon. So I'm going to close the lid and let all the spices and the onion cook well. Now it's ready to be put it on the bread slice. So here I've taken two bread slices, apply butter on both the bread slice on one side only not the other side so one side will go to the basket one side looking towards the fan we're doing this process so that the bread turns a little crispy i like crispy bread sandwich but it will be soft as well So here I'm making a cross or a slit like this so that the cheese that I'm going to add it melts. So we are making a bread pocket here. Add the onion here. So my husband's uh, this is a breakfast for my husband and he doesn't want me to add any mar any uh, sauces here. So I'm just putting it here. This was more than enough. Very flavorful. You can you can make it out how the good how good the cheese and the dip here is. Now use a fork to lock it. Place it in the air fryer basket. Set the air fryer at 385 degree for 5 minutes. I want a little more brown on top. So this is what the texture I want. If you, if you want, you can add a little more bread, butter on top of the bread. It's ready to be served. Enjoy it hot before the cheese thicken up. Here the cheese is nicely melted and the onion with the Italian seasoning tastes so good. He enjoyed his breakfast very much today. This French onion bread pockets. I paired this with sunny side. Super good breakfast meal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon again. Till then, bye-bye and take care.